Oh, my name is Narciso, Narciso, Narciso Torres. I am the president of the, the El Pilar Forest Garden Network and uh, also the, the president of the Canan Cash um, organized group. You know, I, I, I'm trying to, to promote this, uh, this, this culture of mine that uh, is an indigenous culture, Maya culture, gardening and, and, and a sustainable way of living or, and um, also promoting reforestation. It contains sugar inside. Take a stick on the top if you want to, to sample one. And the leaves are are, are boiled for um, for making a tea for when people have um, very bad cough. Sugar. Mm-hmm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the custard apple. Uh, liquid that the bark have tend to make the swelling uh, go very fast down. This is a life everlasting plant, making swells. Swelling areas go faster. Good for asthma. If you have them, you could have eat them plain with a little pinch of salt. Daily eye infection. You will uh, use one of these leaves um, and, and pound it light, light, lightly, not to break them up, and then make them soft. And then you put it over the air, eye. Calabash. In Calabash. Calabash in English. For us, a drinking vegetable. Uh, People take, uh, use it for curing asthma too. Um, they will boil a, a certain um, proportion of the of the meat that's inside uh, with brown sugar, and that will, they will create like a like a jam like. And people that have asthma will eat, eat it. When you have a loose, when you have diarrhea, uh -huh, you diarrhea. Scorpion tail. We call it scorpion tail because of this, you know. Uh huh. Provision bark tree. The bark is especially for um, helping the kidneys work better and, and also does uh, help the, for back, back pain. And this is a refreshing plant. Uh -huh. So you could have a. a, a you could uh, wet your head or have a bath with it entirely. And maybe a, an ounce, of, less than an ounce of water just to get it wet. You can use this for your PS2, for, for the pimples, or like this, you know, before... Would you put, put this on your face? Yes, yes, just yeah. rub it, rub it. What we do for, with when people have the, the pink eye, we'll, before we, we, we won't squeeze it like this, we have to, we are done, but we'll put it over the eye like, like this. It's a BSC that's tree, hard, hard tummies, that um, still don't go like normally to, to the... Toilet. You know, you take the bark of this tree here, um, boil it, and, and drink and drink the, the boiled water. Uh, talk about this uh, bread nut plant. So the, these are the bread nut seeds. Yeah, these are the bread nut seeds. Yes. And so what what do you do? We we boil them uh -huh. with a little salt, and you can have them like that, or or mash them with a little water to make it like a mashed potato. Mm -hmm. No bay leaf tree, we call it Koshan in Maya, and um, the heart of it is anti-cancerous. And this is the leaf that uh, the Maya used to making their traditional houses or indigenous plants or, or maize. You can see it's, it's, it's very different. One the fever grass. When they have fever, mm -hmm. they will drink this uh, like, a, like a juice like, you know. Mm -hmm. Not hot, you know, because when you, you have a fever, you don't supposed to drink hot medicine. This plant is called a um, sorosy. The young shoots you could add it to salad. The leaves are are are, are, are boiled and, and taken for for um, tonifying the blood. The fruit, both of them. This is o open. This is not open. But this uh, this this part is, is um, could be steamed. Sometimes when they have a, a rock rushes. They will drink the leaves and, and have take a bath of, of the leaves also mm -hmm. got to get um, rid of the of the infection. You know, people with um, strong blood or high blood pressure shouldn't take it. This bed is a um, is a special plant for um, uh, purging the system. A handful of leaves and make a, a liter of water and boil it and drink that for a, for a day at least. You know. Pacaya. 
pacaya or, or chip in Maya, um, it produces a, a pot that uh, will grow, grow to maybe an inch in diameter. These are young fruits that are starting here, you can see. And it's believed that it's an uh, anti-cancerous uh, food, you know. Copot leaf, uh, and it's called Obel in Maya, but it's an uh, anti-parasite uh, leaf, and it's, uh, it's also an ingredient for, for cooking meat. Can we taste it? See sure, sure. it tastes like? like that? Sure. It tastes like aniseed. Mm. So it's an uh, allspice tree produce a seed that have a value of maybe a hundred dollars for the hundred pounds and you get some air in your stomach then you, ha you make a tea of this mm -hmm. and it will ex this will expel the, the, uh, the, the air yes, also anti antiseptic uh, uh, also uh, anti mosquito because mosquitoes don't if you rub it on your skin they don't like the scent because it's too strong for them uh -huh. the, the purpose of these plants are um, for getting rid of sto stone in the blood uh, like system. kidney stones? Uh, kidney stones and then um, uh, what people do is root one of these one one plant and boil it Stephen English is probably redhead well they say it is uh, good for a lot of things you know so some, some are hard leaves but this contains a lot of, of water and this is, good, this is good medicine White wild chaya is this one here. It is um, it, it's an edible leaf, yeah. but um, it, you need to be very careful of picking them. Yeah, little spikes. Yeah, don't touch them. Don't, don't touch, touch them. Don't touch them. <laughs> Please. But they like a cactus that would stick into me. They will start to bite and eat green green stick. We call it the green stick. Ah, uh, green stick. I tried this or or rheumatism. The top ones like this to ha to make a bath. Uh, a wild grape, we call it. Does it actually have grapes growing on? They, they have some very tiny ones, maybe in you know one centimeter in diameter. Uh -huh. you know? But they are they are good when they are ripe. This is the gombolimbo tree that's barking up. This could be turned into powder and used for um, sweaty feet, for back aches when we we have a strong back ache. Bark up a piece of the bark and then you boil that for. For, uh, at least one 15 minutes or 10 minutes. You know. Cure for the poison wood? The poison wood tree. Sap that this um, come out from the bark and you put it on the on the affected area. Or you could boil the uh, boil the, the the bark and wash it with the with the water. So this is this is the poison wood you can see. Yeah, but uh, because of the black sap. Ch uh, chickens are getting sick from uh, some kind of. Um, I think wart, they come on their faces or mm -hmm. their head, you know. Um, people will take uh, uh, some sap of this and, and put five, I think about five drips to a gallon of water for the chicken to drink uh -huh. in their water. So it will make the, the warts fall, fall out. Uh -huh. We call it dog, dog stones for the, for the seed that resembles resembles something like that, you know. Um, uh, we You're saying it resembles dog's walls? Yes, <laughs> yeah, dog's okay. walls. <laughs> this is edible, you know, you could eat one or or two of them. But if you eat more than more than more than um, three, it will induce vomiting. Or the Maya used to do to put the sap with a cotton mm -hmm. put the, and put it in the cavity, in a big cavity and it will shatter the Make the teeth broken, small pieces, and uh, dark stone. You see the the, the, the leaf, yeah. the leaves. But in, in Maya we call it anarily for um, people who have um, chronic uh, colds. Well, this is the acacia plant. Yeah. This is a special special plant, you know. <laughs> it's got lots of ants on it. <laughs> oh yes, the ants are the protector of the tree. Like there's a little hole in this uh, spike they, here? Yeah, they, they build a hollow. They live inside there? Inside, in that, yeah. That little uh, hole there? Oh, mm -hmm. I can see him. Yeah, he's coming out. Mm -hmm. The larva of these ants, and they will boil it with a garlic and give give the people or the sick people that have the asthma, asthma problem. Oh. The root is the is anti-poisonous to snake bites. Uh, some people call it Santa Maria, bitter leaf, especially for um, giving women after delivering their babies 
so they will give them to drink and to to wash um, jackass bitters jackass bitters getting rid of losses in, in people head you know like in children head yeah they will um, boil the water and wash the children head with using it for fresh coals uh -huh. half an inch in length of the leaf of the leaf uh, with so a, little, a very little bit then. yeah very little bit and, 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 a, and a little slight piece of salt it's good good for curing also um, sores not only um, fresh cold and fever you know it's a very special wine we call it the um, allspice wine fresh in tea but also medicinal um, for people who have uh, diabetes mm -hmm. um, they should uh, soak it or, or or boil it and drink and make the tea like like um, in a on a daily basis to uh, get rid of uh, of the sugar that they have inside. Mm -hmm.